Let's go! Right, uh, it is so good down here. Genuinely, the place where magic exists. Uh, yeah, just gonna head out for an easy 30 minutes or so. Um, yeah, freshen up the legs after sitting in the car all day. And uh, yeah, settle in for the weekend. <laughs> what you doing? No. <laughs> nice prep. <laughs> She really cares. <laughs> The moments before a race, no matter how long they are, always seem to drag on a bit. Nervous energy fills your body with minimal outlet as you're trying to relax and keep calm. This feeling is often mitigated by the early wake up and consequently streamlined pre-race mornings. Buffalo Stampede, however, was a different situation. Kickoff wasn't until 5 p.m., so the whole day to waste. Some of it was useful. Packing, repacking, organizing gear, cooking dinners. We even jumped in the car for some last minute course reconnaissance. Oh, yeah. Are you reading a map? Are you reading yes. Car Is your phone upside down? No, <laughs> it's following the right way. My plan for the three races was this. Run the 10K moderately hard. It's basically a 5K climb to the top of Mystic Mountain Turn around at the top, and then bomb back down into bright. It couldn't take much more than an hour, so even if I went all in, recovery shouldn't be that bad. Then, 100 kilometers on Saturday morning. This had over 5,000 meters of elevation gain, so I felt like it was gonna hurt no matter what. Typically seem to start races fairly conservatively anyway, and so I didn't plan Saturday to be any different. Then come Sunday, I'd hopefully be in reasonable shape to push and bring it home strong. 42 Ks with 1700 meters of vert is still a pretty serious run. So I was nervous as to how I would respond, but confident that I could pace myself like I have done in the past. in uh, half an hour, so a little warm up, might do some strides, and uh, yeah, I think we're going up that Okay, into the 
descent now. It's pretty technical. Just uh, trying to hold back a little. It's hard though. That's my race. But uh, pretty good. It's a big comfortable day. Should get it done in about an hour, I think. And uh, then I can think about tomorrow. Saturday morning. Um, let's go run under gaze. in now it's actually uh there's a light mist out but uh now settling into a nice rhythm feel good yeah I think uh we should get sunrise uh when we're close to the top She's a wee bit miserable. Ah. Just locking into the I think second last climb of the day. Done uh, 83 k's, about 4,000 meters of climbing. Got about another 20 <coughs> with 1,000 meters of vert left. That's good. The old quads are a bit battered. It's been better days. But uh, anyway. Just cool. Uh, yeah, 
I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, it was all pretty tight too. There's only a couple of minutes separating us. Um, yeah, just gonna pants for a bit and go for pizza soon. <laughs> Keen. <laughs> Buffalo Stampede, that's a wrap. Uh, look, I had such a good weekend. Uh, look, the races went about as good as I could have hoped. Uh, the fitness was there. I raced my races very well, finished them all very strong. Uh, I was competitive too, which is a bonus. Uh, but more so than that, uh, Bright is just one of the best places on earth. Uh, so to be there with my friends, doing the things that I love, is nothing short of a good time. Uh, already the brain is scheming about the next time I can be down there, uh, which I don't know when it's going to be, but uh, what I do know is that I am back enjoying running in the mountains. So I had a little hiatus riding some bikes in the mountains there for a little bit, but the simplicity of running is something that really captivates me. So I'm back, there's more to come. Uh, yeah, look, uh, thanks for watching. I enjoy making these things and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>